And we're back with part 11 of the G4 conversion project. And as you can see, we have it standing upright. Very excited to get it to this point. Got all the wires tidied up on the back of it. So no more dangly wires. And you can see we have the keyboard at a slight slant. That will be the upright position of it. A little bit more ergonomical. Uh, we'll be ready to mount the uh, magnetic mounts pretty soon here. Basically, we're just going to go with uh, one in the center of it here. You won't see it behind the screen there. And that way, uh, we'll have two rubber feet on the bottom here on each side. And that'll stabilize it against the wall. Uh, it'll more than support the weight of this. Just one magnetic mount. Those are good for about 45 pounds, the one that I'm putting on it. But it's looking pretty darn good, if I do say so myself. And as you can see, we can move the uh, mouse cursor here. Now, I had to kind of rethink my uh, methodology of holding up this keyboard on the sides here. Because as I got to playing around with it, I needed a little bit more stable. What I was going to originally do is go with something just in the center. Uh, but I found that it was just a little too rocky on the outer edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a little support on each side here like that and that'll give it a lot more right now it's just a little rocky but i just got it supported by a little piece of acrylic plastic for right now that'll be about the right angle we're almost looking at it uh, straight up it's just got a little bit more to shove in on the bottom but i don't want it to tip over but it's looking really good very happy the way it's turned out now the screen looks a little washed out that's because i've got lights all over the place. I actually kind of turned some of them down so you could see the screen a little better. But yeah, it's looking really good. And as you can see, we got the power adapter on it there. Uh, the battery's in it. The battery does work. So you can have it off the power grid there, so to speak, on battery power for a little bit anyway. And we can make this a little bit uh, bigger here. So you can see the screen there. Now we're running Sorbet Leopard. Works wonderful on these G4 Macs, whether it be a desktop system or a laptop like this one is, it works pretty good. So anyway, we can go and do things here. Now, we have the uh, a more modern web browser on this. This is the web kit. This is what comes with the Sorbet Leopard when you install it. And it's got some modifications on it. Now, you can go on YouTube, but it's still... It runs it at the slowest resolution because this machine just this doesn't have the horsepower to, uh, you know, watch videos online. Uh, you can do it, though. And we'll go to uh, YouTube here. And you see it's loading up there. Now, if my internet connection was a little bit better, it would probably perform a little better. But it's loading up there. Now you can't watch live streams on this, but you can watch videos. But again, it's going to be at uh, a lower resolution there. And we can go up into the uh, search bar here and we can search for something. Now you notice, uh, let me show you something real quick here. So if you notice up here, that's CPU performance there, way up in that bar up there. And it's kind of maxed out at the moment there. So I get the little spinning beach ball here. It's still loading up there. Get the little beach ball there. But, but again, this is um, this has the Airport Extreme, so it's a little bit faster. But again, you're very limited now. If, if you were to put Ethernet on it, it would definitely load up a lot quicker. But we're just doing it strictly off of Wi-Fi. Hey, there we go. Finally, I'll load it up. Again, this is over Wi-Fi. This machine's a lot slower on it. There we go. <clears throat> now it's finally going there.
Hey, there's a there's an older video of me and Joe when we did that on the Marchintosh of last year. And guess what? It's almost Marchintosh again. Let's just click on this for fun and just see what it does here. Again, it's going to be at the lowest resolution. Now, granted, it's going to be slow. Because why would you ever share your vacation home with someone you wouldn't share your vacation with? Skip the ad here. Ooh, look at that. It's playing the sound. And you can see the chat popping up there. Again, it's being limited by the uh, internet speed here. We'll just uh, see how it goes here. And by the way, if you're not subscribed to Joe's uh, channel, please do. Joe's Computer Museum, he's got an awesome channel. He does fantastic stuff. He's got a great store. And if you need a Blue SCSI, especially the new revised Blue SCSI 2, you can get them from him. He's got them back in stock. But I had a lot of fun being on his stream. I uh, got to help him doing that little uh, overclock on that one machine, one of the kits that Kcoba provides. So let's see what happens here. <laughs> it's a little bit of a slideshow there. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another live stream right here at Joe's Computer Museum. <laughs> to my, I think, honestly, I'm just happy we can get on the right internet with this. Would be my left, I think. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We got Dave's with you. Hi, Dave. Hey, how's it going? Doing well, doing well. Dave wanted to uh, hang out with me tonight, and I wanted Dave to hang out with me tonight because we're going to do. <laughs> so, uh, now, we, now uh, let me just look at the uh, resolution here. Yeah, let's uh, let's change the re resolution here. And we also got some cool stuff that Mr. Fahrenheit sent me to go along with that mod. And Dave's like, I know about that stuff. Let's do it. So we're doing it. He's going to be my backup. He's going to help me read the, uh, Let's, uh, the instructions. Let's back off a little bit here. Let's try this again here. If you didn't know, I can't read. It's not very well. He's going to help me out. Well, anyway, you get the gist of it here. So you can get on YouTube. So enough with that. You can get on the web and surf uh, other pages and stuff. Like I said, uh, if I plug this into my 5G phone, probably would perform a little better on the internet but hey at 360p i mean i have played with it before and if you get the give the videos enough time to load up and then back it up uh, then they're not too terribly bad they're not a slideshow but the resolution isn't that good it's just pretty amazing you can do this on these old machines but it'll be fun and speaking of fun our channel sponsor is pcbway and they can do things like this and they offer a variety of services like PCB prototyping, PCB assembly, flex rigid flex PCB, CNC machining, 3D printing, offering you the best value, fast turnaround, one-on-one -on -one assistance, truly a one-stop solution for PCB and assembly. So go to PCBWay.com and see what they can do for you. And these are some of the cool things that they can do. Um, you can get these uh, rulers on their site. Nice thing about this, in fact, let me make it a little bigger so we can see what it is. Let's make it even bigger here. Let's see, there we go. 
So there you go. So a uh, neat thing about this is you can it get it's just all kinds of measurements. It tells you the uh, as far as pad size for resistors or for surface mounted components like capacitors. It's got them all. It's it's got them all marked out for you. That's pretty cool. So like I said, if you need reference for different size of surface mounted components, it's really good. You can get a little thing for gauge wire. And on the back side, it's got the uh, size of a uh, different chip. The pin pitch tells you on that there. All kinds of neat stuff. Uh, tells you about the different pitches here and you got all kinds of different measurements here. It's pretty neat, but yeah. So yeah, reach out to them. Tell them Dave sent you and maybe they can hook you up with a really good deal. So anyway, I'm working on this. Uh, now, the only thing that I don't have mounted in permanently are these little LED lights. Um, believe it or not, I cannot find my little magnets. I've got a ton of them, and I've been looking over the place. They're tiny to begin with, but I got them all stuck together. So that's kind of embarrassing. But yeah, so as soon as I get those in, I'll get that mounted up in there. But like I said, uh, right now, I just have a temporary post. I'll show you here. So you can kind of see it right there. So this is, I just got this temporarily just jammed in there, right there. It goes up the top of here. But this is about the angle I want it. But like I said, what we're going to do is we're going to, instead of that being in the center, um, it's going to be on... It'll be on either side there, and that'll give us plenty of support, so that'll be good. So that way we won't get this little rockiness to it right here in the center. It's solid as all get out, but yeah. But anyway, yeah, so I'm just I'm just really excited. We are, we are almost done. I cannot wait to get it finished up. Just get those uh, little things there, and uh, on the supports, we'll get the magnetic mount on it. And like I said, if I can't find my little ton of little magnets i'll just order some more but anyway uh get those mounted permanently and we are good to go and i got one more thing too that i've been toying with and i got a couple of extra apple logos here and i'm kind of thinking i might do something with those and here's a real tiny one right there little guy there I don't know if you can see it real good there and there's this one right here so uh yeah just trying to figure out there uh maybe just have uh something that's uh down here it comes down when it's uh flips down when we do the keyboard maybe have a little light in it i don't know i haven't figured it out yet but anyway like i said we are nearing the end so hopefully in the next video, this will all be done. So please like, subscribe, click that notification bell. We're also on Twitter, Mastodon, MeWe for social networks. So our videos are posted on YouTube, Rumble, and Odyssey, all those three platforms. You guys have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>